and happy Tuesday. So a couple of years ago, I stumbled across a music video entitled The Surreal Descent Into Madness, featuring a man by the name of John Green. Not only did this video lead me to add two new people to my list of favorite people, the second one was John's brother Hank, it also introduced me to a phrase that I have long since tried to take to heart. What phrase, you ask? Don't forget to be awesome. See, it's both helpful, as I often find myself in need of being reminded of things, and also encouraging, because it helps me believe that I, too, could be awesome. I mean, what that meant or what that looked like, I had no idea. However, to save you from the rambling that I am often inclined to do, I'ma just tell you the answer that I discovered to this question of how does one achieve awesome? And simply put, you don't really do anything. You just be. No, you be you. You be yourself. That's, that's, you be yourself. You super cool person, you. For realsies, the key to being awesome is to be no one other than that purely, wonderfully unique person that you actually are. You're not doing the world any favors by being anyone else. No one else on this planet has the same combination of talents and skills, memories, experiences, personality traits, interests. By shying away from that, you are depriving the world of the gift that only you can give. So to quote one of maybe the three new movies that I've seen this year, let it go. Don't forget to be awesome. Don't be afraid to be awesome. You've got greatness in you, person to whom I am speaking. Though I probably should mention at this point one small caveat about finding and releasing your true inner self, and that's that with great power comes great responsibility. I sort of remember high school biology, and I'm pretty sure that it tried to teach me that this universe has a tendency towards chaos. And I know that history taught me there is no shortage of men and women who have tried to take advantage of that fact. Men and women who some may try to argue were not afraid to let out their true inner selves. Or at least what they believed to be their true inner selves. Well, let me tell you something. Those D-bags were not awesome. Awesome people are both authentic and fight for the side of good. And with those jerk holes running around, we need more people that are willing to be awesome. I know that being willing to get to know that person inside of you can be a daunting task because it requires vulnerability and letting people in. But once you find your true authentic self and then align that with the mission that drives you, you, my friend, will be unstoppable. You'll even be awesome. I'll see you later.